Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Look at what happened today. I was setting up my lights and I cut myself. Somehow. I don't know how. I don't know what happened. But at some point I was doing that and there, were, there was blood everywhere. TMI. Anyway, very dangerous stuff to be on YouTube, right? Very, very dangerous work. So be careful if you want to do it. On this channel, in the last weeks, we have seen some drama, some bad tattoos, but you know, tattooing is not only about that, and it's mainly not about drama and bad tattooing, in my opinion. There are so many amazing artists on the planet, and today, we'll look at beautiful tattoos. It's gonna be a special for the Chinese New Year. Just came up with the idea, seeing all of these tattoo artists sharing beautiful tiger tattoos uh, for the New Year and tigers being everywhere because it's the year of the tiger. So I was like, why not do my own little compilation of the best of the best? I made sure that there were a couple of different styles as well. So not only the styles that I love, you know, I'm a neo trad type of girl, <laughs> but I made sure that there were a, there was a variety of different styles of tattoos. So yeah, there's gonna be trad. Yeah, there's gonna be. Oh, I don't think there's new school, is it? Oh yeah, there's one that is new school. So I want to show you various styles and the most beautiful tattoos because you can enjoy things and think things are beautiful, even though it's not especially your style. You'll see. There's a variety of it. So all of the artist names will be on, of course, the image. You'll see their Instagram username and I'll put all of the Instagram usernames also down below so you can go and search them. I'm gonna try to make it a link so you can just click, which is easier, of course. Anyway, so if you like the tattoos, you can go and see more stuff that the artists do because, I mean, it's amazing, okay? Amazing artists. Before we start and we look at all the beautiful tattoos today, I would invite you to like this video, subscribe if you like my content, and I would really enjoy to know which is your favorite tattoo of all of the tiger tattoos we're gonna review, we're gonna look at today. First one is uh, from Lennox Tattoo. There's actually gonna be two from this artist. We're going on strong because uh, I just love uh, the style of this artist. It's amazing. Uh, the color contrast is on point. I know that the image is here, but I'm looking at it here. So just so you know, if I'm looking down, it's because of that. So his name is uh, Lennox Tattoo um, on Instagram. His real name um, is Anthony Lennox. He is from the UK. The city of, I made sure to look at it, uh, I, I think it's called St. Thomas um, in the UK, uh, down in the south. So if you're in the area, here you have an amazing artist. I think my roommate is dying. <laughs> that's the second one, that's still from Linux statue. Look at the amazing color of this tattoo, it's just absolutely insane. I chose uh, t two tattoos from this uh, artist because of the uh, the color, how it's used, how it's well placed. You know, I love little colors like this. It's Oh, it's even the same highlights than we have today. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I love when artists go um, beyond realism and think of, of placement with colors. I remember when I was studying in art, because yeah, I did that in a past life. Um, I was studying in art, we would have to do uh, stuff like that. I remember everybody was pissed because <laughs> we had to do, um, was it a portrait or a full, full body portrait of a life canvas with paint and we had to do uh, contra contrasting colors on the color wheel so yeah that was kind of weird so you had two colors for the highlights and the shading and you had to do something with it and it was live a live person in front of you nude with, <laughs> with contrasting colors that was 
absolutely insane and it was one of the favorite things I've ever done I still remember it uh, from when I, when I was studying art so looking at someone who has decided to do this as a tattoo and goes a lot beyond what we expect from a tattoo very very different from realism but still you can read it very well it's just amazing and I'm pretty sure the person who has this tattoo is just absolutely in awe and absolutely happy of having this of course second one here is by as you see megan mary uh she is from melbourne austria melbourne <sighs> okay you're gonna all come at me for pronouncing bad <laughs> all of these cities names and places anyway uh melbourne australia and that is uh, the tattoo I selected. Um, there's not much traditional that you're gonna see today because um, I'm a bit less of a traditional girl in general, but this to me just sounded, I don't know why, but it looks traditional with a twist. It doesn't look like 100% uh, traditional, which I love, uh, but it's still pretty trad. And I love that this artist um, there's some artists that um, go beyond just doing one style. I think it's nice. So this tattoo artist actually does a lot of different styles. So if you want to look her up, uh, there's a lot of things. And apparently she can do many, many, many styles, which is quite impressive. This tattoo, I mean, look at the fairness of, you know, she even thought about getting the ears back. Because, you know, when it's roaring and angry the ears will be back of course uh, most likely so I think it's a really nice piece I also love the way that it, it ends it doesn't end abruptly those little flowers there and you can see that the flowers also blend well with the other styles of the person tattoos that the person already has so a plus I'm always saying I'm not a very a trad girl but having this on my body I would be very happy actually <laughs> Next tattoo here is by Jessica Shanner. As you can see, I took pieces that are each unique in their own way. And I love that this artist did not go for the fierce tiger. Because we see a lot of very fierce tigers, which I love. I want a fierce tiger tattoo, okay? But we see that all the time. This person has decided that it was more of a, it looks a bit like a spiritual, meditating tiger, very calm, with all of these beautiful colors. Can you see, can you spot the Monstera? I love, I love plants, so I love that she chose the Monstera leaf there. Um, the little colors, the little birds, the little flowers, I just love it. Very serene, very beautiful. I'm, I'm pretty sure still the person who has that is 100% happy uh, with the result because it's amazing and it's still, it's very different. It's kind of, well, it's neo trad of course, and but it's very different than a lot of the tiger tattoos that we see. If you wondered where this artist is located, she is um, I'm sorry if I assume genders also. I'm saying she because I see the name Jessica, but uh, I hope I don't I don't assume genders too much. Um, so she is from Port Perry, Ontario. Uh, so that's near Toronto, if you wonder. So it's not actually that far of where I live. <laughs> I'm from Montreal, if you wonder. She does a lot, if you wonder, you can go check out her page. She does a lot of beautiful, um, colorful tattoos and cute tattoos. So I love that this artist just came with her style and her vision of a tiger, which is amazing. Next one here is a tattoo from Yunus. I hope I pronounce it well still, uh, who is from Turkey. I had to Google how you say Turkey because I did not believe that we say Turkey in English. We say Turkey in French, but I thought Turkey was... And I end. So I'm a bit confused. Um, and he does mostly, as you can tell, photorealism. Uh, most, mostly I say photorealism, but there's a lot of things uh, he does. I see there's a lot of geometric uh, with photorealism, which is very nice. Classical art, but with a modern, modern twist to it, which I really love as well. So very nice tattoos. About this tattoo in particular, still very unique. Can't you see? You, you can tell the difference from each and every of all of these tiger tattoos. 
this one here is so unique. It's just the eyes. Just the eyes, really well, exe well executed. I don't know if it's a full band because we can't see the rest of the arm, but I guess it ends like it's a rectangle. It's, it's amazing. Maybe there's black at the other side, I don't know. Anyway, both of the choices could be good. I hope that we just see the eyes, the piercing look of the tiger, amazing. And it's just so well done with all, you see the reflection in the eyes, you see the detail in the fur. I think it's very good. Still, as I said, I don't personally want black and gray on my body, nor realism, but I can appreciate a beautiful, beautiful, realistic piece. And almost, I almost want to change of styles when I see this, because it's very nice. Next one here is from Adrian Desgracia. He is from uh, Barcelona in Spain and I decided to choose this because of many reasons as you can see still very different from all the others we've seen all very unique tattoos I love this tiger okay I love the placement I don't know I, I would have not thought about this having a tiger there and the placement with the I don't know if it's a barbell how to say that I love it. I love the very Asian feel to it that the, the artist put while being very new school and this artist does a lot of uh, beautiful new school tattoos so it's absolutely crazy with the eyes. Um, I love the glass eyes on this tiger. I think it's very unique. Don't see that very often. Contrast is good and even though there's no um, nothing around, it doesn't look like a sticker. It looks very well placed. So very amazing tattoo over here. Searching for Ricardo. First thing I'm finding is Ricardo, which is a very known chef in Quebec. Un beau filet de saumon, juste cuit comme on l'aime là. Non, Ricardo, ce n'est pas toi que je souhaite voir aujourd'hui. C'est Ricardo le troisième. Next one here is by, I think his name is Dado David, Dado David or Ricardo. Um, he has two names on Instagram. He's from the Philippines. He is based in Makati City and Quezon City. Um, if you are in the Philippines, he does photorealism mostly. Um, pretty dark sometimes, pretty dark photorealism if you like the style. Why I chose this is because of the way it's done with the negative space used, uh, with the eye so piercing. Uh, it looks, it makes me think of the previous tattoo, but it's really unique also in its way. It's mostly black and gray, but there's also a tiny bit of color, but it's well placed because you know, we've all seen these photos of somebody just using black and gray and leaving like red on the lips, which is horrible, but this is a nice usage of. A mix of black and gray and color just some color to make the eye pop which I think is very beautiful you can think you can feel the tiger in its natural habitat here in in this um, savanna or something you can you can imagine um, the tiger looking at you wanting to devour you and I think it's very nice that it's also a leg piece um, I don't know why, I, I think I see more um, sleeve pieces than I see leg pieces, leg uh, sleeves, so I really love um, a good leg piece. By the way, I want a tiger tattoo and I want it on my leg and we're gonna see the artist later on in this video, so stay tuned for that. Next one, I am in, absolutely in love, in shock, in awe with this tattoo. Ah, look at this amazing piece. Still very different from the others, can't you see? It's from, what's his name? Tony Anga. He's from Malaga, Spain. And everything about this is just so amazing. I think it's exactly the opposite of the meditative tattoo we've seen before with all of the 
the cute colors and being very cute and gentle this one is like the fiercest of the tigers you cannot see so it's like the two opposites that we think when we think of a tiger the attacking tiger the calm tiger here we have the attacking tiger i love the placement with the paw and you can see a tiny crushed skull under it with a bit of blood but it's not it's not dripping and and cheesy it is just just you can feel that there's a bit of blood and this tiger is just insane you can feel the superpower of this tiger from the devilish and how do you say shiny eyes it's just absolutely amazing don't know if you notice the color choices also which i think is also what makes a beautiful tattoo you can see the background is black and gray so you can see the tiger at the front popping up um, very well chosen when you look at the colors in the tiger of course it's orange but you can see the detail in the nose in the in the tongue and um, around the, the the claws you can see that it's purple so that helps to give this supernatural type of look to the tiger uh, whereas if you put a uh, pink it would look a bit more realistic and here we have this supernatural beast next one over here is a tattoo by Moondal or I think it's Hongda I don't know if I pronounced that well uh, from South Korea so near the region well actually near Seoul or in Seoul and um, if you just want to know, uh, it's written on this uh, artist's Instagram that they are in February and April 2022 in LA. So currently in LA, if ever you're interested. And July, August in Barcelona, Spain, if you are interested. So I also... Uh, love this tattoo for many reasons as you see it's a, a neo trad tattoo but you can see the korean a bit of a korean style on it so it's fierce but it also looks very calm which i think it's something we see a lot in korean tattoos and you can see the neo trad leaves uh which i mean neo trad artists always use leaves and i love it i'm here for it so i love that it's a silver tiger well silver white tiger um, which is the only one of the bunch and it's pretty rare to actually find a white tiger tattoo so you can uh, feel the sliveriness to it i love that the artist has put blue eyes that also match up in the uh, in the eyes um, of the skull as well which i think is very really, very nice and puts it all um, together and also the leaves at the top and the leaves at the bottom, which also ties the whole piece together. Still, we'll, we see some imagery uh, that is um, often used in tiger tattoos with the claws and a skull, which I really love. But uh, they're all very different in the way that he interpreted that, which I also very uh, much appreciate. Next one here is a hand tattoo, nice right? From Luis Lacote, which is based in Camboriú, Camboriú, Brazil. And uh, apparently he's at the moment in Köln, Germany. So if you want to head out to Köln, I just love saying Köln. I think it's a very beautiful city name. So I selected this one because I just love a good hand tattoo. Uh, there's a lot of ruined hand tattoos which actually don't very don't look good, don't look good on the hand, are not well placed. This one is killing it, killing it. Look at the amazing placement. Look at the devilish tongue, the big teeth. It looks as if it's gonna just I don't know it's it's the hand on the hand and it's gonna eat you i think it's just very badass and having this on your hand the person who has that is so badass i don't know about you but you see someone coming with a fist with that on it that badass piece you don't want to fight with them you're just like mm, you know what mm, uh, i'll be nice to you okay i'm not a fighter so love this piece um love the placement 
Uh, love the little, I don't know if you notice, I, I'm really a color person. I notice the details about color and I love it. I love the contrast, a little bit of blue on the on the nose and then a little bit of blue around the eyes makes the rest of the colors pop so much. If it was just uh, orange with pink, it would be fine, but this is making it contrast even more and I think it's a win. Next one here is by Seo Hong, uh, which is in South Korea, in uh, the region of Seoul. So I see he seems to be in An Anyang, so in the region uh, south of Seoul. Selected this piece because if we are doing a tattoo compilation of tiger tattoos, there needs to be a samurai tiger, right? And I love this piece. I think it's the best I've seen in the style with the snake. Um, there's a lot of uh, tiger tattoos eating a snake and I think this one just did it. Everything about this is amazing. The contrast with the snake is very well done. So you can see the snake ha has cold undertones and tones in general and the samurai tiger has a very warm tone so you can really see uh, how the snake um, the different from the snake and the and the samurai tiger really enjoy this piece also because did you know that samurais had tattoos yeah they did so apparently I found uh, while researching for this video that samurais had tattoos because when they die on the battlefield you could identify their corpse that's what I found I'm not an historian but that's what I found <laughs> it's pretty cool and also you can see the red in the mouth and you can just Still, there's no blood dripping, but you can you get an idea of the blood there. So it's it's bloody, but not in a cheesy manner, which I love. We're gonna finish off with not my favorite, but um, I have a little bias, which is I don't know what bias I have here, but um, one of my favorite tattoo artists of all time, which is Alo. Uh, she works at Montreal Tattoo. You cannot forget that main name, Montreal Tattoo. So she's based in Montreal and now half of the year she is in Mexico. So at the moment she is tattooing Mexico. So you could try to find her here in Montreal or in Mexico. She's really booked. I'm attempting to uh, get my hands on her to get another half sleeve. But um, yeah, here is said tattoo. Oh, once again, so amazing, beautiful, neo-trad Japanese. She does a lot of Japanese uh, tattoos and I love the neo-trad as well. It's uh, both uh, her styles, very colorful, which I love. And I mean, everything about this is great. Um, we're gonna look at the second image, look at the body. Look at the amazing body of the tiger. I love that she used a rope, a contrasting rope to add some element to it to make it uh, like one piece. There's the peonies, there's all the beautiful Japanese uh, imagery that she is so good with. This is really an inspiration for the future tattoo I want. Um, I know she does a lot of um, Chinese dragon tattoos and tiger tattoos. Just gonna be another one asking her for a, a tiger tattoo. I think I want it, um, I think, I'm sure I want it on my leg. Yeah, no bias here, right? I, I just want a tiger tattoo from this specific artist and I'm showing it in my favorites, but it is one of my favorites. So if you look, everything on here is amazing to me. The way she is using color, the highlights, the tones, you can see a difference in the nose and the rest and it's just popping, color is popping from everywhere, contrast is on point. You can really see the difference in the back, from the background to the front. No bias here. I just found her and she's, she's amazing, I think never heard of her before <laughs> that's a lie my dear that's a lie so we're ending on that note I hope you enjoyed this 
beautiful tiger tattoos for the Chinese New Year compilation. If you like it, I even if you don't like it, I'm gonna make other videos of beautiful tattoo compilations with different themes. Maybe it doesn't use the drama factor as my other videos I've done previously uh, do, but I think it's really, really important on such a channel to see beautiful art because tattoo is not only about uh, laughing at horrible tattoos, of course. I think tattooing is a whole world of of pure beauty, art, and it's something I really, really enjoy and love. Something I'm also very passionate about and I hope that you can see that in these videos. So I hope you appreciate uh, these. Go follow the artists if you uh, like their style, of course. Go follow them, it's all gonna be linked down below. Also, if you'd like uh, to comment, what is your favorite tattoo of the bunch? I would love to know because it's all very beautiful tattoos. I don't think one is the best and one is the worst in all of these. It's just all very beautiful pieces. So I wonder which type of tiger tattoo would you get or of tattoo in general? Do you prefer realism? Do you prefer neotrad, uh, colorful? Do you prefer black and white, neotrad? Do you prefer old school? Do you prefer... What do you prefer? <laughs> That's it, so don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next week.